But has anybody, has anybody actually looked at the content page of this book? This is an amazing book. So just some, some thoughts about the book uh, before we start. That uh, you know, as I do, you read the book uh, in preparation for this particular session. I must say I felt quite, uh, quite exposed as a man, to say the least. So the book is bold. I said it's, it's daring. Quite <laughs> timely, introspective, searching, it's deliberate, vulnerable, sensitive, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, as I said, I, I was quite nervous myself uh, going through the book, but just how the formalities are going to go from this point, so we're all sort of on the same boat. We're going to have a conversation now uh, with Pindila, the author, and we're going to chat about different aspects of the book. If you do have questions, please save your questions for, for afterwards. We'll have an opportunity for you to ask your questions, or please jot your questions down. And who knows, maybe your question will be answered during the course of the discussion. But uh, we look forward to, to you and uh, joining us, sort of actively engaging with us during the course of the morning. So please fasten your seatbelts and let's get cracking. So, I've got some of my notes on my mobile, so please don't think I'm being rude or checking my WhatsApp, so I'm just wondering what, how the boys are treating me, because you know the boys are watching me saying, ah, you with this guy on stage, he's going to be in trouble on this one. Guys, I, this book was not written about me, okay, so, uh, I did find myself with uh, some of the characters and characteristics in, in the book, um, but just to start off with, uh, interesting title, Yet You Married Him. Um, what came through is the title of the book. <laughs> oh, please don't touch, she says, yeah. Sabotage. Sabotage. And he's been working the, the mics. Yet you married him. Testing. Better. Yeah. Right. Go for it. So, so what came through the title? Um, well, first it was the title. And um, when I came up with the title, I was writing it to myself. It was a matter of saying to myself that I need to take ownership of the decision that I made with um, the man that I chose to get married to. So um, for me, it was like, um, I need to take my power back because the moment you admit to yourself that it wasn't anybody else's fault that you got married to your partner, then you are then able to admit to yourself that there's actually something that you can do about it, right? So when I said yet you married, it was more for me to say, but you were not forced by anyone. So take your power back and admit that you get everything else before you go and marry him. And you still married. That's a tough one because I mean the, the headings here it says the signs are always there. there. True. Oh, you get it there. Yes. <laughs> the signs are always there. The signs are always there. So is this is this a fictional book? Is this a non-fictional book? Is this an imaginary sort of book? Well, it's more understand how however it is both fiction and non-fiction because it's real life issues that I've written about. It's just that the characters are not um, and how much of the book is, yeah, is pinned experience and how much of it is strong or interesting your When I started writing it, it was more um, a pinned experience, but then as I kept writing, I realized that um, so many of us women, we go through exactly what people do in her marriage. So I had to expand it that when any woman reads it, they'll be able to relate because they've gone through it or they're going through it. So it's, it's both ways. When I thought of the book, I was writing it for myself, as I said before, because I wanted to do what I was going through. But as I was writing it, I realized that these are conversations that I would like another woman who probably feels all alone in her marriage to have a conversation with me through a book. Because oftentimes when we get married, we always think that you're the only one who's going through whatever it is that you're going through, and you don't want to speak to anyone about it. And especially in our black culture, remember we are told that we're not supposed to discuss our marital issues, right? And um, we go we go through it alone. And for Upindi to write the book, it's me saying, um, if I wrote about it, if I wrote about those different characters, if I had conversations with other women about it, because I had a lot of conversations other women about it, then it means that you are not the only person who can read that book who could be going through whatever it is that you're going through at that moment. Right. 
right. So what I'm hearing you say is this is not about your ex-husband. It's not about your marriage experience specifically. But you've taken yourself, elevated your experience, and shared it amongst other people. There's some common traits that you've been able to pick up. Am I correct? That is correct. It's not just a about my ex-husband. If you're hoping to get my dirty laundry, but not yet. However, my next book, you will be. Oh, wow. <laughs> Straight into the book. So it's yes, you've married him. It's a hundred and a couple of uh, sort of eighty five pages, and the contents page. And this is where this is where it really got me because initially she asked me to to moderate this session. I thought, okay, but why is she asking me? I'm, I'm a guy. I'm the him. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, true to form. Um, so there's a couple of chapters. So the way the book outlines is that there are twenty two character traits that uh, Peony discusses that women will encounter either through relationships or in, in marriage. Um, I'll take you through some of these. Oh gosh. Okay. Jake's um, sword here. <laughs> so the first one is uh, baby mama drama. The highly educated and well achieved man. Jim comes to Joburg. The rich kid syndrome. Stuck in poverty and escaped poverty. The uneducated man uh, from a foreign country. The man with dead issues. Man with mom issues, mistaking money in the closet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the serial cheater, the divorcee, annoyingly pleasing or disrespectful to his parents, the celebrity slash celebrity wannabe, the grew up amongst girls guy, the short man and small penis syndrome, <laughs> 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 the one that made it. The family, the dreamer, but non doer, Ish, the sugar. I know those ones. Now, these are 22 character traits. As I said, you know, true to form, I opened the first one, chapter one, baby mama drop, and I'm like, oh, baby, why don't you So, you know, it, very interesting. Which, which of these chapters did you have the most fun writing? Uh, definitely, it comes to Jumbo. Okay, why definitely? Um, because I think I have come across um, a few men whom I thought were Jim comes to Jobo and it was just always a hilarious encounter with them and um, it's just how much of these you know they're that I and <laughs> no, it's hot up on the stage I saw you <laughs> Yeah. Those children now have to manner 
Whereas it's all good and well when you start to do it. And she's like, oh, it's so cute, you know? And when they're there, nothing's too far. When you are planning um, whatever household things, you have to put them into consideration because there's going to be money coming out of the house. You have to love them and yet maybe you don't even know what it's like to actually carry your own child. So for me, it's a great burden. And, and not only that, I mean, even when you are pregnant, you want, you're so excited about the whole thing. And he's calm about it. He's been through it. Exactly. And um, you get these your faces like, how? It means that, why why are you like, not paying attention to me? I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. You want to make a whole big deal about it. Yeah. Okay, what happened to your experience? I'm going to be careful. No. <laughs> To you, exactly. So, um, for me, it was painful. It, it, I felt, I felt cheated. I just felt like, no mind, this was not what I planned. I wanted to start life after she with just my children, and not having to carry something that I was not really a part of. But now, I'm being put into it. Yeah. So, my new 